Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Bless me, Father. Bless you, my sister. I sinned against my father. I got pregnant, but I didn't know the father, so I had to have an abortion. Oh. I know I've done wrong, my father. Ask God to forgive me. Don't worry, sister. I've listened to your sins, but know that God is merciful, and he has already forgiven you, if you truly repent in your heart. Okay, Father. I'm going to give you acts of penance, so that the Lord may truly have mercy on your sins. Okay, Father. Here's my business card. As soon as you get home, let me know. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take good care of yourself. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Father. It's me, Andrea. The woman you gave your business card to three days ago? Ah, uh, yes, my sister Andrea. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen, my father. So I'm going to save your number so I don't lose it. Tell me, sister Andrea. What are you doing tonight? If you're free, we can have dinner. All right, father. Where and what time, please? I suggest 8 p.m. Don't worry about the location. We'll look for it together. I'll come earlier to meet you in front of the monument not far from my parish. Okay, Father. Where are you going at this hour? I'm going to a friend's birthday party. What a girlfriend. Diane. How many times does Diane celebrate her birthday in a year? Didn't she celebrate her birthday three weeks ago? Last time, it was Diana's birthday. What Diana? Next time I'm sure it will be Diadia's birthday instead. In any case, I'm warning you. You're already a big girl. Concentrate on yourself and find yourself a good husband. I heard mom. Please, mom. I've got to run. I'm almost late. Did you cook? Yes, mommy. When it's time to go out, you're quick. Goodbye. Thanks, Mom. Happy arrival, Sister Andrea. Thank you, Father. For my own safety, I prefer you to call me by my name. Agreed, Mr. Garam. I can see why you're not wearing a cassock. I always get rid of compromising documents. Ah. I see. Would you like to go to nightclub afterwards? Nightclub you say? Of course. Why are you surprised? I thought you weren't supposed to frequent such places. I understand your concern, sister. But don't worry. Tonight I'm not a priest. We're on an equal footing. That's why I got rid of my cassock. That's better. Otherwise it'll be really frowned upon if you walk around in a cassock. You're right. I never make that mistake. In a cassock I'm a different person. You have to know where to draw the line. I can see. We'll be together with three other priests in a nightclub. Really? Do you mind? Not even. So they'll be there with girls too? Of course I do. Or do you have friends to connect them? Another time, perhaps. It works. I hope you will keep their secrets too, just as you will keep mine. Don't even worry. I'll do it. Thanks a lot. It's already 2 a.m. and this girl still hasn't come home. I call her and she doesn't pick up. I hope she's all right. She'll have some explaining to do when she arrives.
Mommy, aren't you asleep? Is this the time you're coming home? Mom, it's for a birthday. It often drags. But what kind of car is it? Which car? The one who dropped you off earlier. Mommy. But why do you watch me so much? I'm your mother, and I have the right to keep an eye on your life, as long as you're under my roof. How are you, my girl? I'm fine. And yourself? It goes. Welcome to my store. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you about something. All right. Go. I wanted to ask you out tonight with my select group. Which select group are you talking about? You'll find out for yourself as soon as you get here. I know you like to go out too. Yes, but I can't go to a party without knowing who I'll be with. Why are you afraid? You don't know me. Do you think I could get you into something you're not comfortable with? I know your taste and trust me. Okay. We'll see. Happy arrival, Father Henry. Please, Father Jerome, the girl you promised me won't be coming anymore. Don't worry, my colleague, she'll come. She's already on her way with my go. Okay. Happy arrival, young lady. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Follow me. Meet Mr. Henry. Nice to meet you, Mr. Henry. My name is Vicky. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Thank you. My belly. What's wrong with me? I've got to throw up. But what do I have? Why do I suddenly have this urge to vomit? Doctor, what did my analysis reveal? You're pregnant, ma'am. Pregnant? Yes, ma'am. This is serious. You've got what, miss? This is very good news. Mom, I'm gonna go out and do a little shopping. Do you want to come along? Who are you talking about? Where do you get all that money you squander every day like that? Mom's the savings. Does your beauty salon give you so much money to buy that luxury car and change clothes like a chameleon? Mom, I'm telling you it's my money. Why think otherwise? I've been doing this job for nearly 20 years and I've owned three beauty salons in that time. But I could never afford a car like this. Even this house you live in is the fruit of many years of saving. But stop comparing me to you, Mom. Today, things are changing with the arrival of the Internet. I sell my products at a higher price and have a lot of customers. Are your customers invisible? I can read between the lines, girl. Don't confuse me. Forget all those questions, Mom. Don't you worry. Go get ready, Mom. I want to give you a beautiful dress and shoes. I don't need it. Go shopping by yourself. Please mom let's go. No. Okay. Father Gabram takes very good care of me. He gave me this beautiful car. I'm going to contact my boyfriend pastor so that he can also help me finish my villa. I've got to get to my villa by the end of the semester. What's the matter Vicky? I'm very weak. All I do is vomit. Oh. I thought you were going to make me do my shopping. By the way, I'm pregnant. Pregnant? But whose pregnancy is this? I hope you know the author. It will surely be for Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry, you say? Yes, since he was the last man I knew. No. But you can't get pregnant for that man. But why? It's been exactly one month since we met and I'm three weeks pregnant, whereas since you introduced me to this gentleman, I've avoided going out with other men. You shouldn't make the mistake of getting pregnant, Vicky. It's very serious. Why are you so against it? It's really serious, Vicky. But explain to me how serious it is. In fact, I'm planning to call Mr. Henry and tell him. Please don't. 
I advise you to abort this pregnancy. What? You see me aborting a pregnancy? It's the best solution for you. Trust me. But I don't understand anything. What are you hiding from me? Monsieur Henry is a priest. I'm screwed. What have you gotten me into, Andrea? Why didn't you tell me from the start that he was a priest? They forbade me to tell you. They wanted to be discreet. But why? I had a right to know. You have no right to hide this information from me. First of all, I'm your friend. You should at least tell me something in confidence. I thought I'd found a real man who wanted to marry me. I'm so sorry. But you shouldn't go with him without protecting yourself. It was a mistake. What are we going to do now? All he has to do is inform the owner. Enter. Vicky, what are you doing here? I call you but you don't take my calls. I was busy, but how did you recognize my office? I don't think I told you. I know you're a priest and I've come to tell you that I'm pregnant with your child. What? Are you listening to yourself? How can you say such a thing when you yourself have just told me that I am a priest? Did you tell me you were a priest? Did you tell me the truth? If I wasn't pregnant with your child, I'd never know that truth. You kept it from me because I didn't go to your church. If I knew you as a priest, I wasn't going to accept your advances. You have to get rid of this pregnancy. I'm a priest and I can't be linked to a pregnancy. Don't sully my reputation. Didn't you know you were a priest? Had someone forced you to go out with a woman? I'm telling you to get rid of this pregnancy. If you keep it, know that I'm disengaging myself from it. What's up? You heard me right. How can you say such nonsense to me when you're supposed to be a man of God? I'm a priest and I want to protect my priesthood. What am I going to do now? Here I am alone with a pregnancy to manage. Who am I going to talk to now? My mom will probably have a fit when she hears about this. What do you have? I made a big mistake, mom. What a big mistake. I'm pregnant by a Catholic priest. What? Who's pregnant? That girl killed me. How can you, a Christian girl, get fat before marriage and even worse to a priest? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Mom. What are we going to do now? You put me to shame. I'm a leader in my church and now my own daughter is pregnant by a priest. What am I going to tell the pastor and the congregation? Now what does the alleged lender say? He asks me to have an abortion. What? How can he make you such a proposal? He won't get away with it. What is it, Sister Mary? Father, there's a lady outside to see you. What a lady? You know her? No, Father. I have no idea who that is. Who could it be? I don't normally have any visits scheduled for show today. Maybe it's a loyal donor or an old acquaintance. She can climb. Enjoy your arrival, Mom. I don't want to sit. Oh, but why? What can I do for you? You're about to hide my daughter's life. What are you talking about, Mom? You've impregnated my child and you're asking her to get rid of it. I've come to warn you. If you don't accept your responsibility as a father, I'm going to report you to the whole country. Your authorities will be informed of your hidden actions. What proof do you have that I am the author of your daughter's pregnancy? I don't know you, and I don't know what daughter you are talking about. What? Then you lie. What kind of man of God are you? You'll be sorry. I think you have a problem, madam. May the Lord have mercy on you. Stop hiding behind the name of God to do your dirty work. Please, lady, get out of my office. It can't be true. Here I am, dear elder. Is it true what I've heard about you, Father Henry? I don't know what you are talking about yet. Had you impregnated three women from the parish? There was a very nervous lady who came to complain this morning. Are you really the author of her daughter's fat? I don't know, dear elder. How do you not know? 
Were you intimate with these three women? Yes, but it was just once. Are you trying to justify yourself? Just once, you say? It's because of fellow priests like you that people insult us. You ruin our image. What an image you leave for God's people if you, the leaders, do not live in holiness? I'm sorry, dear bishop. It was a mistake. How you can impregnate up to three women at once. The church won't let you tarnish its image. That lady who was here this morning is a leader in one of this country's evangelical churches. If she ever testifies against you, it will spoil our image enormously. That's why I'm going to send you into hiding in Rome. For a few years. Hoping this story will blow over before you come back. Agreed, dear bishop. Call me Father Garam. Thank you so much for covering for us, dear bishop. Avoid making the same mistakes in the future, or you'll face the necessary penalties. Thank you. Here I am, dear bishop. Okay. Get ready. Next month, I'm sending you to Italy. But why, dear bishop? There are too many rumors circulating about you. What kind of rumors? You go out with the girls of the parish to whom you offer luxurious goods. According to the faithful, you use parish money. Others also accuse you of pedophilia. What? Did you want to deny it? I've seen videos of you practicing indignities on children, both boys and girls. I have no idea what you're up to. You paid a ransom to those who threatened to release the video. Yet they continued to threaten you until last month. True or false? Yes, it's true. Did you know that it was thanks to the church's intervention that the threats stopped? Really? We're not going to ruin our image because of your irresponsibility. The church is obliged to wash your linens to protect itself and maintain its authenticity. Thank you very much, dear bishop. Get us ready to leave as soon as possible. Okay. Customers today. Ah. What's a policeman doing in my store? Are you looking for someone by any chance? I've come to give you notice. If you don't pay your rent by the end of this month, you'll simply be kicked out. Oh. I thought my rent was paid regularly. Make sure you're up to speed. Otherwise you'll have nothing to cry about but your own eyes. Where will I get the money to pay three months rent? I thought he was still paying my rent. I didn't know that he'd already broken it off. What am I going to do now? Now her number doesn't even work. What I sell in this store will never pay all this money. I'd already sent my lover past her packing. Will he help me now? I can't let this store down. My girlfriends will laugh at me. Even my mother will laugh at me. No, I'm never going to give up. I'll seduce the pastor. Maybe he'll take me back. Who's there? Coming. What? What the hell is going on here? How did you find my house? I asked around, my love. Hey, stop calling me that. Why my baby? I'm telling you to stop it. My wife isn't far. Besides, you've already sent me packing. There's nothing between you and me anymore. Who told you it was over between us? We were just on a break. Jesus Christ. What the hell is going on out there? Are you kissing another woman in front of our house? Shh. It's not what you think, darling. You're disgusting as a man of God. It's disgusting. You'd better tell your wife the truth. We've been dating for almost three years now. My God. What just happened to me? Forget your wife, sweetheart. Come and give me a hug, my love. If you don't get out of my sight right now, I'm going to strangle you with my own hands. Spirit of Jezebel. When you ran after me like a goat in heat, didn't you see the spirit of Jezebel? Go away from here, I tell you. I'm so sorry, darling. It was that girl who wanted to drag me into sin. 
What are you talking about? You think I'm stupid? You're not even ashamed. Take responsibility and go confess your sins. Stop blaming the woman. If you didn't have any intimacy, she couldn't come into your house and want to kiss you. That means you've been doing it for. Don't be angry, darling. When I remember that you preached holiness to the faithful this morning, I just want to vomit. Forgive me, darling. I would like you to keep this story secret for the sake of our marriage, and also for my reputation. In any case, I can't keep this story to myself. The spiritual father of our couple must be informed. What spiritual father are you talking about? Is he pious himself? He's worse than I am, but his wife has never complained to us in this house. Let's keep our home secret too. How will I pay my rent now? Hello? Who's calling, please? It's a stranger. You don't need to know who's calling, and the call is untraceable. I have two suggestions regarding the pregnancy you were carrying. Either you must get rid of the Father Henry pregnancy you're carrying in return for a $50,000 wire transfer, or you keep your pregnancy, but your child will carry your name with no Father Henry identity. And you must leave the country before giving birth for a minimum of five years. How much will you give me if I take the second option? You won't get any money, except for the cost of your plane ticket. What will I eat during my stay where I'm going? For that matter, what country will I be going to? Don't worry about your needs. The center that will welcome you, will put everything at your disposal during your stay. You'll get information on your destination country later. But don't worry. You'll be in a family with other women in the same situation as you. But be prepared, because we can take you on board at any time. No. I prefer the first option. I can't stand your conditions for the second plan. How do I get the money? You've made the right choice. We'll send an anonymous doctor to take care of you. As soon as the pregnancy is cleared, we'll transfer the money to your account that same day. Tomorrow at 10 p.m., come and meet us on the boulevard. Which side of the boulevard, please? Don't worry about a thing. Just come to the boulevard and be on time. We'll find you wherever you are. Okay. But you have to keep it all a secret. Otherwise, you'll lose your baby, and you won't even get the money you promised. Okay. This is the proposal an unknown number made to me three days ago. They offered me money to get rid of my pregnancy. Really? How many? He started at $50,000 and ended up at $500,000. Wow. I hope you accepted. How can I? How can I accept such a thing? I told you I'd never get rid of this pregnancy. But how can you turn down that kind of money? I've already made the mistake. I'll take full responsibility. And besides, I don't need their help to take care of my child. They also offered me five years away from home. Don't tell me you turned that down, too. Yes, I did. I have refused every proposal from them. I won't continue to multiply my sins, accepting their diabolical proposal. Their whole plan is to get rid of my baby. You missed the opportunity of a lifetime to become rich and very powerful in this country. I will never sell my child's life for money. Even if I am in sin, I am still a child of God. And who isn't? As of today, I'm ending our relationship. I no longer want you as a friend, and I never again want to visit the abominable places you took me to. What? I mean it. Mom wouldn't like to see you here ever again either. Get up and get out before my mother comes, or you'll be hot. I'm leaving. Bye. There's an all-black car following us from Madam. It's probably because she's heading in the same direction as us. No, I don't think so. I've got a bad feeling. How do you feel today? A little better than yesterday. Is it true that I lost my baby? Yes, my daughter. 
The baby didn't survive the accident. I'm very sorry. Don't worry. They've taken what's theirs. God has blessed me with life. I could have died in that accident too. I thank God for his will. One thing is certain, they will end up paying the price for their actions. You're right. God knows why he allowed this to happen. I've been married for 10 years now. But I've never had a child. Not even a miscarriage. Because of my problem, my husband left me to see another woman, and had children outside. Yet all the doctors tell me I'm healthy and not sterile. What have I done to deserve all this? I've become a born-again devout Christian, yet nothing is changing in my life. I don't even know where to turn. My mom is already dead. I pray day and night but nothing changes. Who looks just like Andrea. The person is even in tears. Andrea. Vicky. It's been a long time. Really? But why are you crying all alone here? What's wrong with you? Nothing was going right in my life. Since we'd lost touch, I'd lost everything that was good about me. I'd lost mom. Even before finding a man, I'd struggled, and finally it's been 10 years since I was married without children. What? You're still childless? Yes, unfortunately. Have you taken the necessary steps to treat yourself? What did the tests reveal about your fertility? I've done everything but nothing's changed. Really? And what about you? Are you married? How many children do you have? God blessed me with a handsome man, and we had four children. Two girls and two boys. Thank God. Don't worry. For you two will come. At what age? When I'm 50? Don't forget that Sarah had Isaac at the age of 80. Sincerely, I've lost all hope. Please, Vicky. Forgive me for all the mistakes I led you to make in your youth. You almost lost your life. I'd forgiven you since Andrea. I'd wanted to get in touch with you several times. But I couldn't. It is truly a great joy for me to find you here today. Let's forget our dark past, and give thanks to God. Thank you very much my friend. I beg you. I'd like to take you to my pastor to pray for you. Okay. My pastor will accompany us in prayer. Let us have faith. God can still change your story. Okay. Here comes my pastor. Andrea. My pastor. And so ends this animation. Sister Andrea had never conceived, despite all her sacrifices and prayers. She remained childless until her death. The two vicious priests Ari and Jerome had never changed. They'd always carried out their deeds until they were stripped naked. They would remain priests for life, but they had lost all legitimacy. As for the other men of God in this animation, they continued their mission as if nothing had happened, and the church continues to function normally. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this animation is not made with the intention of judging a church, or criticizing a priest, or a pastor. Whether they are true men of God or false, that is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you that there are types of people you don't sleep with. People consecrated by an oath of some kind. This means that this person belongs to a deity, a community, a sect, or to God. This category includes priests, pastors, occultists, etc. whatever. These people have a particular power over their lives, as long as they are consecrated. There's a force, or a power that works with them, and that doesn't allow them to have illicit sexual relations. If we take the example of a priest, according to the oath, he must not touch women. Once the oath has been taken, there's a power which means that, when you sleep with him, the shadow of his oath begins to follow you. It's like a curse. Your life becomes dark. Even if you've had these practices in the past, and still managed to get married, or have a seemingly normal, carefree life, be aware that it can continue your descendants. 
it's really dangerous. This is one of the reasons why the scriptures teach us that there was a 2000 cubit separation between the priests and the people. No friendship, no jokes. Because a consecrated person carries a power. In any case, a person who takes an oath will be covered in some way by God, whether we like it or not. Even his community protects him. God treats his servants as he pleases. That's why you must avoid any unhealthy relationship with them. This animation shows a smaller part of what happens to your life when you sleep with these types of people. The devil manages to trivialize sacred things in the eyes of today's youth. This is the reason for many of the world's ills. Many women marry with many problems. Problems of infertility, myoma, various illnesses, because they had intimate contact with sworn men in the past. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, not everything is physical. There are spiritual illnesses. From the moment you sleep with a sworn man, or a consecrated man, an act that prevents him from doing his mission well, you are guilty. Even if it wasn't you who made the first move, from the moment you are conscious, and consent, you will be guilty. You must confess, and turn away from this path. On the other hand, this is not a reason for men of God or consecrated men to mislead the faithful, or people. Immoral relationships do not conform to the word or the will of God. By sinning in this way, you will destroy a life of respect, and the sacred mission it is your responsibility to uphold and defend. You are shepherd of God's flock, and as shepherd, you tend all the sheep. Please avoid becoming a wolf in sheep's clothing. Don't forget to share your opinions in the comments section of this video. Share with us other points that we may have missed. We are here to edify one another. May God's grace be upon your life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next time.